Tuning in, this is Optimus coming at you with another and final video review. And today we're going to be taking a look at the brand new Lion King action figure available only at Walmart of Young Simba and the Adult Simba. Now, in case you've watched all my other reviews of the Lion King figures, you may have seen Simba already before. This is the third Simba that I've gotten, uh, and you, and you have to get it because it comes with the other figures. Uh, but the action figure part is really mostly on the adult Simba. I mean, he's kind of got this, they call it a, a fighting action, but his legs moving back and forth don't really say fighting, just says walking action to me. <laughs> you spin around here on the back and you see the other figures that are in the line, brought to you by Just Play. And uh, I mean, I really like that these figures are out. I've, I've always wanted to get them. The only ones that I've known of were ones that came out a long time ago when the movie first came out and they were uh, Happy Meal toys. I know my sister's got them, and I've wanted to get them from her for, for a very long time. The darn girl just won't budge, though. So I had to go out and buy my own. And here they are. <laughs> now, the only thing that really does kind of suck, as you've seen, I've reviewed all of these so far. Except, they never made a Rafiki figure. I need a Rafiki. So, Disney, give us a Rafiki. I'd appreciate it. Thank you. But uh, let's get this guy open, because I'm curious and uh, see how cool he actually is. Okay guys, so here we have the adult and young Simba opened up and out of their packaging. And as you can see, the young Simba is the exact same one that we got previously with Mufasa. Uh, just a rubberized little figure with a little pee hole right there. Um, made in China, I don't know if I showed you that before. And it is a little bit different uh, than the one that I actually display. The one that I actually display is the flocked version that comes with the young Nala. And now some people have said that, you know, you can have all these actual ones as being cubs of either Mufasa or Simba because Simba eventually does have a litter. I, 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 do they call them litters? When they're lions, do they call them litters? I don't know what they call them. Flock. We're going we're gonna to call them a flock of cubs. Uh, except I, I, I don't really, I mean, because it's Simba. It looks like Simba. That's all it is. Now, as for the actual large figure, I really do like this one. I think this is probably the best looking of all the adult or large figures that we've gotten. Um, he does suffer from the same problem that Mufasa did where his legs are kind of forced to be in this position. They do, they are articulated, but as you can see, I mean, that just looks derpy. Uh, so you can't really do much. And he's got the 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 fighting gimmick. Um, although, again, it just looks like he's... Just walking. <laughs> and he's obviously got a loose screw. Because um, there's something in there. But I really do like the look on this. I think it's wonderful. One thing that I learned by watching the recently released Blu-ray is a lot of this hair design was inspired by Bon jo by John Bon Jovi. There, we'll say it right. I'm just gonna call him Bon Jovi because that's what he goes by, and he really does have a Bon Jovi esque kind of face to him, especially with the hair. I think it's wonderful. It's absolutely a gorgeous looking figure. Uh, his tail also kind of rotates, but I don't like keeping it up like that. That kind of looks silly. I mean, I like keeping it down, at least for this guy. Um, like I said, the legs are articulated, and you can actually change the positioning of the front ones and kind of get them to walk even weirder. But, uh, I mean, really, like I said, you're unfortunately stuck with them in this pose, and there's not really much else that you can do about it. That's pretty much it. Now, all said and done, when you get your collection finally complete, this is what you're gonna kind of be looking at, providing you pick up the same figures that I picked up. And honestly, from somebody who absolutely loves the Lion King, I'm thrilled that I actually got these. I know they might seem a little corny, and I'm sure a lot of you Transformer fans who watch my videos probably aren't too thrilled that I've been doing a week-long set of reviews of these guys. But, I'm sorry, this is my childhood. This is what I grew up with. In 1994, I was like 14 or 15 years old. And I loved these characters. I love this film. It reminds me of a time in my life where uh, it was kind of like the end of an age of innocence for me, I suppose. That summer, we went to Disneyland. And I actually saw this movie at Disneyland in Florida. I'm sorry, not Disneyland, Disney World. Disney World's in Florida. Disneyland's here in California. Eh, oh well. But I'm absolutely thrilled that I have these. I don't regret getting them at all. And I hope you guys were mildly entertained by watching these reviews. So, until next time, I want to thank you for tuning in. Don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe. And until next time, 
I'll talk to you later.